Members of the El Paso community gathered together Sunday afternoon at Memorial Park, marching and holding signs in protest of police brutality against the black community. We are here today to respectfully tell our officials, to tell our law enforcement, to end police brutality. El Paso adds its name to the list of cities across the United States that began protesting this past week following the death of George Floyd, a 46-year-old man and father who died being held down by the knee of white Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin as he repeatedly pleaded that he could not breathe. We want justice not for George. We want justice not just for Brianna. We want justice for all the names, all the lives lost due to police brutality. Hundreds of protesters gradually made their way to the city's police department, where they continued to chant for racial equality and in remembrance of others who have died at the hands of police. Members of the crowd emphasized the importance of maintaining a peaceful protest, although later in the night, police were spotted deploying gas canisters at protesters. It's been a problem. You have people getting killed. This is nothing, this is not new. You have issues with Emmett Till. It goes all the way back. This is not new at all. And that's why I stand here today proud as a black woman to be standing here and with these amazing other people. It doesn't matter what race you are. If you are for black lives, you are for human lives. And that's why it matters so much to me in my heart. It's too many, so many black lives have been lost. Not just George Floyd, but so many others. Whether they were handcuffed, excessive force, murder, it's just, there's too many cops getting away with it. On Friday, three days after Floyd's death, Chauvin was arrested and charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter. Three other officers who watched the events unfold and did not intervene have been fired but have not been charged with a crime. Don't make this a one-time event. Yeah. Woo! Yes. You know what I'm saying? We gotta love each other every day, man. If you see something going wrong, speak up and say something. I guarantee you somebody behind you is gonna speak up with you. Don't let that thing happen, man. Racism happens every day, whether it be subtitled or not. If you see it happening, call it out and say something. That's the only way it's gonna stop. Thank you.